Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, so today's video, I thought I'd do a bit of a house update. Um, I put a poll out on Instagram to ask what your most asked questions are that you want answered. And the majority was around our house hunt. So we're actually on the market at the moment trying to move um, into a farm is the, is the ultimate aim. It might not happen and it might just need to be a, a bigger house in the countryside um, that overlooks fields and, and such. But if I was to envision what it is that I'm hoping for and what I am actively searching for right now, the dream house is a farm with a couple of acres. Um, but it's proven very, very difficult. And we've been house hunting now for six months. For six months we've been trying to find a place. But we have got one really exciting viewing coming up. It was going to be this afternoon, but I think I've had to push it to next week just because of Mia's nap schedule. Um, so, yeah, so we're actually going to go and view this four bed farm. Ooh, sorry, me. You just caught me peeping on a neighbour as they pulled up. Um, yeah, it's a four bed farm with four acres. Um, I'm not sure. It's, it's, it says it's four bedrooms, but it's also got an annex. So I'm not sure if the actual main house, the farmhouse is three bedrooms and then the annex counts as a fourth bedroom or if it is actually potentially a fifth bedroom because that's a full uh, flat apparently above an office um, which has a bedroom, living room, kitchen, shower and everything. And that's actually another big thing that I'm hoping to get at least either a garage that I can convert the top of it into a, a self-sustained flat or a annex on the side of the house um, or even just an outbuilding that you could turn into an annex. Um, I don't know if some people that might have been here a while will know, but before we had Mia, we did Airbnb. So followers, subscribers, we met so many people from all over the world, um, in particular America and Hong Kong actually were the top two destinations um, that came over to the UK just on holiday. And then for a couple of nights, they would come and stay with us. Uh, and we'd go on walks, go out for drink, go out for dinner. They'd spend all the time at home with the dogs if they wanted to. They could do whatever they want, but it was so much fun. And we've made quite a few like friends that we are still very much in touch with from those little weekend breaks that they've had. And it's just nice to be able to meet all of you. Um, but now that we've got Mia, obviously we're a bit more antsy about just letting people come into your home and also giving out your personal address. Whereas before, I think we were a bit more risk taker on that. Um, but I think if you've got an annex, you can do that again because it's the, the whilst it would be great to meet everybody, they're not staying in physically in your home, they're staying in a building attached to your home. So it does give you that that tiny little bit of extra security, which I think is what we want. Um, but also I do love the whole idea of being like a B and B host. You eat your breakfast in the morning and stuff, I think that'd be amazing. Um so yeah, I really, really would like to get one with an annex or at least the ability to build an annex that wouldn't be a whole new building. There'll be something like an outbuilding or a garage that you could convert into a into an annex um, so that we can start doing Airbnb again because that was so much fun. Um, and I've got so many guests that want to come back and stay with us. We're always getting asked questions about our Airbnb. So yeah, so that's the plan. Um, and hopefully this farm that we're going to go see is actually the house. Um the only thing is it's four acres and I think that might be a bit much land for, I'm sure it'd be all right, you know, if you're an actual farmer, but when you just want it for fun um, or to have a, I want a pony uh, for Mia um, and stuff like that, I think you only need like one, two acres that you can switch between the two fields um, for grazing and stuff. And I think four acres is just a lot of land to try and maintain when you do work full time and do YouTube and have a baby and dogs to walk and yeah I just think that that kind of level of land would be a lot a lot of work don't mind me you're right there Teddy oh curtain you right there mate yeah you good make a little watching spot okay what whatever works for you yeah all right um so yeah so that's like the plan and I'm really 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 hopeful for this house that we're going to see um I'm I think more sold in it than Shane is at the moment but it's just because at the moment estate agents aren't open and they're not going around and um doing tours I don't think you do lots of virtual viewings um where the homeowners go around with a video camera and stuff but everything's reopening in, in three weeks time um but the problem you've got is um they don't go around and take pictures when somebody wants to put the house up for sale it's the people that live there take the pictures and they miss out rooms or they don't get the right angle so you can't see the full size of the room um or they just don't take pictures of like the out they mainly take pictures of like the downstairs maybe not every bedroom 
or different angles within the bedroom. And then what I'm really struggling to find on ads is people taking lots of pictures of the garden, which is I'd probably say the one, the first thing I look for in a house is that garden space. And then if it comes with land additionally to that, what's what kind of level it's got. Hello. Um, so yeah, really struggling with online listings at the moment. I'm finding that property. Hi. You're right there. Um, so yeah, so fingers crossed this one. And if not this one, then it, I'm sure it will come up soon. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be quite cool now. If, if I didn't realise how much interest we had in our property search. Um, it's just me and Teddy in this video. Phil and Nico are sat asleep on the bed. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and you. You're the star of the show today. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I thought if, if you guys are interested, then I'll start taking you on viewings with us. Um, so I'll try and video what I can of the view when we go to see this farmyard um, and any others that we go to see so you can start going on this journey with us um, and yeah I think it'll be quite fun uh, but yeah so in terms of if this house doesn't work out I'm going to give you my list of everything that I dream of um, and what I've kind of got on my vision board for where we're going to live so we have got a four bedroom house um, and with an annex the potential for an annex we've got I would love a barn like a converted barn um but that would not be essential and then a bit of a sorry I feel just making a noise then a bit of a random one for me um that isn't probably on many people's list I don't think for what they want in a house but for me my dream is to have a staircase that you know when they go up in the center and then they part outwards so it like goes into a double staircase that is like house goals and honestly that it would be garden kitchen bathroom stairs are the things I look at first and foremost in a house. Oh, and like um, when I say kitchen, you know, it has the separate kitchen that you can have your washing machine and stuff in, which I know the majority of you are US and I'm pretty sure that that is so normal for you to have your own like utility room. But in the UK, most people's washing machines, tumble dryers, all of that lot is in their kitchen. Um, and I would just love to have like a, a utility room which has got your washing machines and stuff like that you do all your laundry in, and it's got like one of them pull down rails that you can put all your laundry out on to dry um but also I know this is really stretching now but I want one of them like dog shower rooms like a wet room so this would be like a wet room with a, a door to the outside a side door and the dogs could come in there have their shower and bath not in our actual bathtub that we bathed in they would have their own that you can do a wash and it would be better suited you know the shower would be more powerful it'd be lower down um that's like that's dreams um but we'll see if we get there i realize that milo i don't think i made a cameo yet but here he is say hello to milo you need a farm don't you you need a bit of farmland chase all the birds keep the rats away um and yeah the other thing that i would like but also is not essential but would be the perfect house would be it would be quite dated i would like to like go in and replaster re-carpet re-floor um i would like to be able to have that opportunity where like because a lot of places especially this one when we move into it it didn't need work but it it was you know you could live in it but it wasn't how you would normally decorate or how you would structure a kitchen or the bath setting that you would have but you it's also not worth doing it because of the property value and the fact that it's all working it's nice enough it's been done in the last 10 years or so so there's really no need for you to do it it's just you putting money into it that you might not get back whereas if i was to try and find my next home i would really like to have the opportunity to one design my own kitchen um and it's quite expensive <laughs> to do that um, but I would love to be able to design my own kitchen and my own bathroom or, or ensuite, one of them. I'd like to be able to do those two up. And then I'd just like to have like fresh carpets and everything down. Or, or actually, I would I would actually quite like, even though you don't really have it in the UK because it's quite cold here. I would like tiled floors everywhere. That would, especially all downstairs, all tiled flooring, just with loads of rugs all over the place for a bit of warmth. But I just love a nice, crisp clean tile and just in terms of pets it's just so much easier to clean um but yeah I'd like to be able to do that sort of stuff that that type of renovation I wouldn't want to have to gut a house or even just start with a barn that's completely empty that you're completely converting yourself I think that's too big a job um but just some like modernization I'd like it to be quite a dated house that you really want to 
modernize and make your own and maybe knock down a few walls make some bigger rooms i don't know make it more open plan i would just love a little bit of a project really for the next couple of years um and know that you've put some design into that house but that is that is really like when you try and think of what you aspire that is what you're trying to manifest i guess um but yeah we'll see um and we'll keep looking but i think worst case scenario that the least that we would settle on is um if you can get a really good area really good schools but it might not have the farm um but it will have a, a really large garden that will overlook fields um and land i think that's like the least i think that we're looking for and realistically we're not really in any rush to sell so we own this house um the biggest thing for me is i've set myself a timeline of by the age Mia is three, when she starts preschool. I do not want to be in this area then. I want her to be in a more of a countryside rural setting uh, with a smaller site, like school classes and size. And um, just, I just want her to grow up when she's old enough to remember these things as well um, in a different area that is a bit safer, uh, is a bit more rural and just gives her more outdoor time to explore, less busy. It's, it's just quite crammed where we are in the city centre. Um, so yeah, I'm really hopeful that she will get that space um, and that we will be able to provide that for her. It's just trying to be patient and wait for that right house. Um, and also just kind of learn in different er so many different areas because I kind of want to stay within 45 minutes drive of Manchester just for our careers as well. We need to be local to the city centre. Um, at the moment, obviously working from home life, but who knows how long that will go on for. Um, so yeah, I still want to be able to be commutable to go to work, real jobs, not YouTube. Um, but I do want to have that rural upbringing for Mia. So yeah, hopefully. Anyway, it's a, it's a really exciting time for us. Um, we'll keep you updated. And I didn't realize, I don't know if you saw that, then you probably didn't. Did you? Teddy just jumped and te Teddy's about to get bopped. Milo? Teddy? No. No? Thank you. Um, so yeah, as I said, I didn't realise the amount of interest that we had in our house hunting mission and where we're up to with it. So I'm going to start doing more videos um, that kind of take you on the journey with us. So we are still searching at the moment. And um, hopefully in the next couple of viewings that we go on, we can film whilst we're there and show you around. They might not be the ones that we're gonna move into, but it'll kind of give you an idea of what it is that we're looking for. Um, and then when we do finally find a dream home, we can go back and compare it to others that we were looking at um, and see where we get to with it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions, just leave them in the comment below. We'll try to respond to as many as we can and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye love. Come say bye-bye. You can sign out the video, okay? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Long cat. Say bye. God, you look fat there. You do? <laughs> bye, everyone.